Our third exercise, how many strings of six English lowercase letters are there? We know that there are 26 letters in total and there are five of them are vowels and 21 of them are consonants. So this is the separation of our objects. And now let's go to exercise A that contain no vowels at all. Length of our string will be six. So I have six spots and now I don't want to have any vowels uh, and this means that I will have only consonants so it is 21 times 21 etc times 21 the solution is by the rule of product 21 in the power of 6 question B that contain no vowels and the letters cannot be repeated so here are my spots 1 2 3 4 5 6 now see for the first position i can put any of the consonants that means that i have 21 possible picks but now here in the second position i can't put the consonant that i have put in the first place so there are 20 options for it and this is the fashion that the exercise will be solved 19 for the third 18 for the fourth 17 for the fifth and 16 for the sixth this is the solution for this question. Let's go to C that start with a vowel and end with a consonant. First, we consider the restrictions and then we consider the rest of their places. So the first place must be filled with a vowel and the vowels are five. So there are five available options for filling this position. And in the last position, they must end with a consonant so there are 20 available options for it there will be a consonant here so 21 options and for the rest of the places there is no restriction so there are 26 options and the letter may be repeated so it is 26 times 26 etc and the final solution is 5 times 21 times 26 in the power of 4 and question D that contain exactly one vowel Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, it's not really easy because I have to consider the restriction at first. And he says to me that he wants to use just one vowel, but the available vowels are five. So this is the first step I'm going to take. And practically, I'm solving this uh, exercise with the rule of product. Five are the available vowels. At first, I'm picking the vowel. Now, I should pick the position where the vowel will be placed because it could be placed in the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth or the sixth position. So there are six available options for the position where the vowel will be placed. And now remember that when we are applying the rule of product, we're thinking about tasks. First task was about to pick the vowel. The second task is the position of the vowel. And now we think that this position is fixed. What's left to be filled? And the answer is that there are five positions. And in each position, I could put only a consonant. So the options are 21 for each of them. And the final solution is here for the rest of uh, the places is 21 in the power of 5.